So when I started my channel about two years ago, one topic that I really wanted to cover was low carb eating. And over the years, I've created some videos related to that, like low carb what I eat in a day videos, grocery hauls, meal ideas, etc. But in the past few weeks, I started realizing that low carb might not be the optimal lifestyle for me. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I came to that conclusion and why I think so. So I first started experimenting with low carb eating a few years ago and I started with keto but I quickly realized that I really don't want to limit my carbs that much so I switched to just low carb lifestyle and for the most part I was doing Atkins 40 which means that you eat 40 grams of net carbs or less per day. I was able to keep up with it really well during the week but on the weekends I had crazy cravings for junk food, burgers, fries, pizza, just all types of high carb snacks that you can imagine and i usually gave in because it was the weekend evenings were also really hard for me like i could eat very well during the day but i found it really really hard to keep it up at night as like the night progressed i was always craving like really high carb snacks sweets just all kinds of not very low carb friendly stuff. I had periods where I was forcing myself to eat low carb, but then slipping and eating whatever for a while. In my off periods, I wasn't eating particularly healthy. It was almost like I was trying to catch up on all the foods that I was missing out before. I didn't feel my best for sure. I had low energy and I was always feeling guilty. So I told myself that I need to go back to low carb to repair the damage and then the cycle repeated itself endlessly. Basically, I couldn't find any consistency or a happy medium that I can follow for the rest of my life and be happy and content with it. It was a constant battle with myself. Then a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, I started reading about intuitive eating and I started realizing that my cravings, my constant cravings for high carb foods might be just a sign of deprivation. I started considering the possibility that my body is sending me a signal that it needs more carbs in my diet to feel its best. Again, I'm not saying that low carb diets are inherently bad. I realize that a lot of people are thriving on keto and low carb lifestyles and they have high energy, they feel really good. But I started toying with the idea that it might not be the best lifestyle for me and my body. One thing that I learned so far in my intuitive eating journey and something that made me feel better about myself, to be honest, is the idea that if we're failing with a specific restrictive diet, it most likely doesn't have anything to do with weakness or the lack of willpower or the fact that we're failures. It's just the result of our body not getting enough food in general or enough of a specific nutrient or food group. Before I came to the US, um, about seven years ago, so in 2013, I had lost about 20 pounds from mainly calorie counting and restricting myself. And over the years, over the last seven years, my body has definitely changed. And I've had moments where I wanted to lose weight again, but I was always unable to follow a diet. I wasn't able to count calories for a long time. And I always used to get mad at myself for being so weak and being a failure, being a loser and stuff like that. But now that I think about it, maybe my body didn't want to get to that super skinny state because it wasn't feeling its best. It wasn't feeling its most comfortable. And my body just didn't want to be hungry again. Like right now at 31, I'm starting to accept the fact that I'm never gonna look like the fitness influencers on Instagram and that's totally fine with me. I still love my body. I still like the way that I look and I realized that I can be happy even if I don't look like that. Reading about intuitive eating inspired me to bring back a lot of the healthy high carb foods that I had avoided over the years and foods that I always felt guilty about eating like oatmeal, rice, a piece of toast and basically any fruit different than berries. They were always kind of like guilty pleasures, things that I wasn't supposed to be doing if I wanted to like maintain my body and stay in good shape. I always had this guilt in the back of my head, which is so stupid to feel guilty about oatmeal, right? I don't know. For the past couple of weeks, I've been trying to listen to my body while also making healthy choices for myself and choosing balanced meals. And I can say that my cravings basically disappeared completely. I don't think about junk food at all anymore. I don't crave sweets or McDonald's or fries or anything like that. I can just, I don't know, 
I feel like I'm finally free and it's so new and such a cool feeling, to be honest. I'm currently tracking my calories, not with the idea to restrict, but just as an educational tool. I just wanna see how much food my body naturally wants to eat and how different types of foods impact me and my energy levels, etc. My weight has been really stable in these past couple of weeks. I haven't gone up or down. I'm never hungry. I never think about food. And I don't know, I feel like I'm finally getting to a point where I'm finding this happy medium that I've been looking for for so long. I basically try to eat whenever I'm hungry and until I'm about 80% full. And if I have to eat 12 times a day, I will do it sometimes. I'm hungry for breakfast, sometimes I skip breakfast, sometimes I have a big dinner, sometimes I have just a salad. I just do whatever my body tells me to and I don't know, I feel like this is working, finally. I still eat out of boredom sometimes, but I feel like nowadays with quarantine and everything, it's kind of understandable because I'm stuck at home like 24 seven and I don't know, there's not much you can do, but this is something that I definitely wanna work on like next year and in the future. Another thing that I came across while researching intuitive eating is this idea of mindful eating without distractions. And this is another area that I need to work on because I always eat in front of the TV while watching like Netflix or something. I never use my dining table. And I don't know, this might sound stupid, but in 2021, one of my new year's resolutions would be to eat all of my meals at the dining table without distractions, without TV, without YouTube, just me enjoying my food and trying to listen to my hunger cues and what my brain tells me. So as I already said a million times, this video is not to say don't eat low carb or low carb eating is bad. It's just basically me sharing my experience, sharing a different perspective. I just wanna tell you that it's okay to quit a diet that doesn't serve you. I just wanna inspire you to listen to your body and make lifestyle changes if you feel like you need to make those changes to be your happiest, healthiest self. You are not a failure if you keep failing a restrictive diet. Maybe your body is just trying to tell you something. I am by no means an expert in intuitive eating. It's definitely something that is super new to me as well but I've decided to start this journey and see where it would take me. I'm not sure what my diet would look like in the end and if I'm gonna be following the principles of intuitive eating to a T, but I know I want to have a healthy balanced diet without restricting myself and feeling guilty about the choices that my body ultimately wants me to make. Do you guys have experience with intuitive eating? If so, I would love to hear your perspective and advice in the comments down below. Also, I would really appreciate any recommendations for books Books, blogs, YouTube channels, just whatever helped you on your journey with intuitive eating. That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy my content. I post videos about healthy lifestyle and wellness pretty much every single week and I would love to have you guys on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!